Hello, Marcus Lim here and today I'm going to give you a look into the Watchman annotated hardcover and um, yeah, Watchman, you know, really needs no introduction, right? It's one of the most celebrated comic books of all time um, and Time Magazine even listed it as the only graphic novel to be in the list of yeah, top 100 novels of all time um, and so, you know, over the years, there have been many, many editions of Watchmen published. Uh, for instance, this is the Absolute version that I got a couple years back, Absolute Watchmen. Um, and there's also the more recent uh, Slipcase edition of Watchmen with all 12 uh, volumes, right? <clears throat> but this is actually the first ever... Uh, Watchmen annotated version that DC has released <clears throat> and if you think about it right like the f like Watchmen getting annotated right, it's something that's you know, not surprising given the the huge amounts of um, annotations that are already out there online uh, by people who are constantly dissecting uh, the the twelve volume series, right? Uh, looking for Easter eggs and uh, literally, sorry, literary references, um, and so yeah, there's there's already a lot of annotations that you can find for free. But this is, I would say, like the official uh, annotated uh, version of Watchmen in a collected volume. Okay, so let's unwrap this. And before before I actually uh, get into the book, just a quick note about the uh, Leslie Klinger, right? Who's the person who's editing and giving all of the annotations, right? Leslie Klinger, and Leslie did uh, the other uh, annotation on the Sandman, right? Which I actually don't have, but I do have his um, other uh, work, which is uh, this new annotated Sherlock Holmes which is like this huge huge uh, volume of uh, two books and I think there's a third as well um, <clears throat> Leslie Klinger so that's the same person so Leslie has now turned his attention to annotating the Watchmen okay and have a quick look at the back it says it's the most celebrated graphic novel of all time um, and yeah, you know, so what it has is it says notes by Leslie Klinger um, and it draws upon critical and scholastic commentary in depth interviews and all kinds of stuff. So that's uh, pretty cool. <coughs> so let me just take off the uh, jacket. On the inside, you see that this is like the what Rorschach's mask, isn't it? Uh, okay. So that's the jacket. So Rorschach, same kind of like Rorschach again. Um, and Watchmen annotated edition. All right. So let me take you through the book. Okay. So, the thing about this is, it's probably not meant to be the first Watchmen that you read, right? You should probably read the, you know, those collected editions first before actually jumping into this. Uh, this is a foreword by Dev Gibbons, so uh, like the art original artist. Right, an introduction by Leslie Klinger himself. And you can see that it's all just like pretty much page by page of the comic book with panel uh, descriptions on the sides. Okay, so panel one, three, five, for instance, panel one, panel one. Panel tree, panel tree, right? So <clears throat> that's the format of 
of the book. Um, so I won't flip through every single page of this, right? Um, but as you can see, it's all black and white, right? It is not in color. So it's the I guess the original art, pencil art by Dave Gibbons. Yeah, with with uh, yeah with annotations, and that's pretty much what it is. Right, Watchmen, but with annotations on the sides. Okay, so we uh, now the um, if you recall. At the end of every uh, volume of Watchmen, there's these like side stories, and those side stories also have supplementary uh, material as well by Leslie. So that is pretty cool. Okay, just flipping through. I think we are near the end now, so let's see what we've got at the very back of the book. Uh, we have a bit of a timeline here, the chronology of, t of Watchmen, which is, I guess, something that has never really been published before. Alright, so pretty cool timeline. It goes all the way to, what is it, um, 1985. Hmm. Okay, and then we finish off with a bibliography, okay, uh, which is not surprising for a book like this, which in, I would say, I would think, would have uh, taken years of research. So, and then we end with biographies of Leslie, Alan Moore, and Dave Gibbons. And that pretty much is the book, right? So that's what it is, the annotated version of Watchmen. Um, and I, as I said before, it's probably not the first Watchmen that you should read. If you want to get to experience Watchmen for the first time, you should get one of uh, the collected editions, like what I've shown you, like for instance this one, the slipcase, or just just any of the, you know, like, collected uh, versions of uh, Watchmen would do. But if you want to go more in-depth into the world of Watchmen, right, and, you know, be able to catch all of the references or Easter eggs, then this is probably the next thing that you should get after reading uh, True Watchmen in its purest form. So uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in another video.